Hi and welcome to uh, another uh, video and in this video we will be uh, configuring our ROS and uh, modifying it uh, for our uh, ROS2 uh, environment and uh, the guide uh, as you can see uh, is uh, given here and uh, as usual uh, the link is given and the link is also given in the uh, description all right so you can refer this uh, site uh, as you are watching this video when you plan to uh, replicate it uh, in your system so let's get uh, started uh, in case you have missed uh, the installation video go in the previous video where i showed you how to install uh, ros2 over ubuntu and then come back all right so let's get uh, started we'll uh, move into our uh, uh, ubuntu instance so uh, let's go into our Ubuntu and uh, just to give a recall, um, I'll show you my version. I am on the focal uh, version of Ubuntu with uh, 20.04 and uh, let's get started with uh, configuration of the ROS uh, uh, system. Now that we have already install, installed it, we need to configure it. The first is the source and this is something which we did in ROS1 also that you know after installation you have to uh, source it okay uh, so i have to give uh, the distribution name and uh, let me check my ros version so i'm with foxy and then i'll just uh, replace this with uh, foxy and boom it takes in all right so the next one is um, so this is the example so i'll skip this then i will uh, move into the next one where i'll add sourcing and then echo it uh, to my bash uh, rc which means after you have sourced it i'll uh, use the the piping and uh, move uh, into my uh, uh, i'll move into my uh, to my so uh, bash rc file which you can uh, see here all right so this is what uh, i'll be doing so um, I'll just copy this, go back uh, to my Ubuntu and just paste it and just change my distro to Foxy again. So if you are not on Foxy uh, and some other version of ROS to make sure that uh, you are changing that else it will uh, not work. All right. So this is done. Next uh, we'll uh, check our um, uh, environment uh, variables so let's go and paste it and you can see uh, that uh, my environment variable um, is given and a uh, lot of uh, interesting uh, insights um, you can see from here actually so the first thing you can see that it is uh, pointing out to, to the ROS version which is 2 Python version is 3 plus and it is also giving uh, the other paths which are uh, which are set up which is you can uh, see the one mainly for the uh, site packages and I am in Python 3.8 which is my uh, base uh, Python variation version. So one of the core difference between um, uh, ROS2 and 1 is that in uh, ROS1 you are able to use uh, Python 2 but uh, this will not work in case of ROS2 which is only using Python 3.6 plus. All right. So check this. All right. And uh, let's get uh, moving to the next part. All right. Um, so the next step is to uh, export our uh, domain ID. And uh, this, this can be uh, any uh, number and it is given for um, uh, network issues and you know uh, if you are working in lab or office and you have uh, multiple uh, 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 ROS instance talking to each other all right so um, I'll give my domain the ID as um, three all right so uh, just taken it I'll just uh, echo it back into my bash uh, RC file So that's done. So the configuration uh, post installation uh, for this um, uh, uh, area is uh, done. So we'll now test it out with the turtle sim. Now um, here uh, there is a command uh, for uh, installing uh, the turtle sim. For me, it is already uh, done. 
so just to be sure you do a uh, ROS version minus D and uh, what I'll just tell you what you need to do and it's the same thing and just replace it with uh, Foxy and uh, run it for me it is already installed but uh, let me just show it to you that you know it, it tells me that you know it's already installed uh, for you maybe it may it will go and take some time and uh, install it and as you can see uh, zero upgraded some error notification and I'll just uh, send it to Ubuntu so that that red thing goes all right so let's uh, move uh, you can also see the executable which in which will throw in uh, the four executables which are already uh, present in, in uh, ROS2 with uh, turtle sim and uh, what I what I mean is that you know uh, if you look into the uh, screen and uh, this are the four one two three four exe executables for uh, turtle sim all right so these are all uh, four executable within turtle sim and you can call them in your projects and uh, you can use them for uh, your uh, testing as well all right uh, so uh, let's go to the next page and uh, start our testing because uh, this is uh, the moment of truth guys so finger crossed and uh, let's do a clear and uh, boom let's try it and as you can see uh, my turtle uh, sim is uh, there so congratulations guys and so we did uh, the uh, post installation configuration of ROS version 2 and we are able to um, install a turtle sim and get into the uh, first screen uh, bear in mind that you know uh, this particular background of uh, turtle sim uh, which you see I mean uh, this color and also the turtle color might be different for your case so don't worry if that is different all right uh, so that's absolutely perfect as long as you are having uh, this screen uh, is uh, totally fine and it means that uh, uh, you have done it correctly so uh, thank you for watching uh, do subscribe uh, to the youtube channel and uh, like comment uh, share and uh, see you in the next uh, video